What's up everyone, this is Jason here with the Virtue Spire. Today we're going to be doing basically a programming video for you. <clears throat> now, theoretically, out of the box, these should not need to be monkeyed with unless you absolutely have to, okay? So, in order to get into programming mode, just like any Virtue, you want to think of this, the LED, as your trigger and the power button as your on off. So what you want to do, hold down the LED, push down the power button, then release the LED. Okay, we're in programming mode. So let's walk through these. Basically purple is going to be your sound, which is going to be as the hopper turns on, is it going to beep or is it going to be silent? Number two, which is green, is going to be your LED. This hopper, you can actually turn off the LED so it does not illuminate. Great for night games. Now, the third, which is blue, is actually your standby mode, or aka energy saver, sleep time, whatever you want to call it. The red is your G-Force sensitivity. This is basically if you want to decrease your sensitivity so that you don't need that much, it will be 1. And of course 5 will be your highest sensitivity. Now the next one, which is yellow, is going to be your drive pressure. This is telling the drive assembly how much pressure to put behind it in order to rotate. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and change a value. So you know what, since we're on, uh, actually let's go ahead and go to G4 sensitivity. So we're going to go back to purple, which your default for purple is 1. Your default for green is 1. Your default for blue is 2. Your default for red is 3. Then your default for yellow should be 2. So let's go ahead and go back to red to do a little programming. Okay. So if anyone has ever owned a virtue board, all you want to do at this point is hold down the LED. One, two, three. So that's going to tell me that it has it is set to default number three. So in order to change it, let's say we want to put it to one. Hold it down again. Once it gets done blinking, hit it once. And now it's going to be stored into the red setting. Now, like we mentioned, the G4 sensitivity and the drive pressure you should leave as default unless you encounter a problem. If you encounter a problem, then you can go ahead and change those. Now you're probably saying, okay, what about if I totally whack them out and I want to start fresh? No problem. This hopper does have a reset, just like a virtue board, because it has a virtue board. So let's go ahead and turn off the hopper. The way you do the reset is the same thing. You go into programming mode, but once you're in programming mode, hold down the LED for around 10 seconds and it should turn white and then do the rainbow of the color. So let's get back into service. So same thing, hold down the LED mode, turn it on, release. Okay, now we're going to hold it down and once this turns white, it's been resetted. Okay, we just reset our board. So, let's go ahead and check that. So let's go back to the G4 sensitivity, which is red, which we change to one. Okay, there's our red. Hold it down. One, two, three. So as you can see, it, it's three. I counted ahead of schedule. So we'll go ahead and look at it again. One, two, three. Okay, so there you go. The board reset, reset all the values. 
So as we mentioned, you should not change your G-force or your drive pressure, which is your red and your yellow, yellow, unless you have to. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, or you want to request any videos regarding the Virtue Spire, by all means, drop me a line. Other than that, this is Jason with the Virtue Spire. Thank you for watching.